All right, let's talk about something cool that some of you saw in the skies yesterday. We're talking about these hole punch clouds here. This was courtesy of Phyllis. She lives in Luling, and she wrote in saying, uh, what's the deal? Looks like UFOs sitting on top of the yeah. area. Uh, first of all, keep these pictures coming. Anytime you see something uh, unique or cool, we'll certainly talk about it. Uh, but yeah, that's that's not a UFO. These uh, uh, hole punch clouds uh, seen in and around the area typically occur when you have an airplane fly through certain level of clouds. You need these super cooled uh, water droplets that aren't ice crystals yet, but eventually they do turn into ice crystals. Right, so we're talking mid and high level clouds. You're not going to find these in the bottom clouds where the rain and snow comes in. These are zero cumulus, so up top or alto cumulus in the middle. These tiny super cool droplets, what we mean by super cooled is, yeah, they're technically liquid water, but it's below 32 degrees. And I know that's kind of weird for some mm -hmm. of us to think about, but it does happen. Physics is weird, right? You could still have water that's not frozen. What they're looking for is something to cling to. And most often, not, it's dust, it's pollution, it's bacteria. If we can get pollen up high enough, sometimes yeah. it's pollen. They're looking for that little trigger for that super cooled water droplet to hit, and then it freezes, it crystallizes, and then it falls. Yesterday, more likely than not, it was these passing airplanes. Right, yeah, exactly. So you, you can actually kind of have these airplanes kind of change the pressure as it pushes through the, the cloud layer. And what happens here is, as Kristen mentioned, that these super cooled water droplets are waiting for some kind of change. And what happens is you see that drop of pressure, drop in temperatures, and they form into these ice crystals. And it kind of grows and in size here. Mm -hmm. And kind of a chain reaction forms those circles as those ice crystals will fall. It's a flash flash freeze, I should say, and then they drop. And as more of these crystals are, uh, freeze and drop, the hole gets bigger and bigger and bigger. You wouldn't notice yeah. it unless it looked, you know, something like like this when it's it's nice and big. Let me go backwards because uh, I saw these mainly down in the southeast. It was the uh, Luling and kind of Caldwell area. I didn't see these over Austin, unfortunately. But if you notice, some of the sunrise photos we're showing right now, same kind of thing. These zero cumulus or these alto cumulus. Right. And basically, by alto, we're talking mid level. Cirrus, typically high. Cumulus, as I tell my school visit kiddos, cumulus are my cotton ball clouds. They look like cotton balls stuck together. So these are little flat cotton balls in the mid to high levels of just very, very cold liquid water right. droplets that have not yet frozen. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see, you know, if a, if a plane ever went, you know, straight up and then came back down and kind of up and down, yeah. what, what it would do to these A little trail here, right? of yeah. hole punches. Yeah. They're yeah. also called fall streaks too, but mm -hmm. I wouldn't I wouldn't say they're um weird. They're, it's a total natural phenomenon, yeah. right? Because we typically see them with things like dust, uh, pollution, natural, loose definition there. But they're not exactly common either. Every once in a while we get a good yeah. hole punch cloud event and you guys are really good at delivering them, but uh, they're not necessarily an everyday kind right. of occurrence. So uh, thank you guys for sending those in. As always, if you see one of these in the sky, send a photo. Or if there's any sort of wonky clouds sitting on top of you and you want to know more about it, send it to us. Report at kcn.com. Com. Chief Meteorologist Dave Yeomans wrote a blog about this event. You can see it on our website, kxan.com.